What's good, drumheads? If I were to make merch like this, would you be into that? Let me know in the comments below. So I was literally in the middle of watching this Lewis Cole drum beat tutorial video. I got through the first beat and realized that I'm gonna try and learn these. So I stopped and I started recording. Now I'm gonna finish watching the rest of these beats, but I'm gonna freaking learn every single one of these beats. Maybe I'll see how quickly I can do it. Maybe I'll put a timer and I'll see how fast I can work it out and play the beats. All right, here we go. He's so good, actually. I feel like he plays drums as a joke. What kind of musician doesn't have gaff tape? Perfect. All right, let's start the timer on this. And I wonder if I should do a left-handed? Should I do a left-handed? No. 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 That kick with the snare is weird. Right there. He plays it pretty quick. Like that, you got that down. As far as I can go. 12 minutes and 18 seconds. <sighs> Listen to how cool that sounds. I'm gonna try and make my drum sound like that. You need that close hi-hat mic. And what's he got like napkins on there? It's like actually a tutorial. He's even got the transcriptions on there. Paper towel. Maybe two paper towels. I don't even have a mic stand for this. Lampshade's gonna have to do. Another one. DJ Khaled. Boom! Beat number two. sit here all day trying to fine-tune that groove you know it's been four minutes and this feels so wobbly but I could sit here probably for like two hours just playing this to try and get it to sound like Lewis Cole ah, dude this hurts your wrists man it's those ghost notes at the same time. I'm calling it. That's like JD Beck stuff right there. I don't even have Zill Bells and stuff. I got it. I got it. I got it. You gotta pay attention to his left hand. I don't even know where my splash symbol is. Oh, wait. Okay, I don't know. We'll figure something out. What do we want to do for the snare? Something tight. My cell phone. Watch me crack it. 
Boom, beat number three. I think for this one, you have to listen to his left hand, which I'm gonna play with my right hand. So, what's the pattern? And then you fill in everything he doesn't hit with the right hand with the left hand. So he's going. One minute! One minute that took me. Take that, Lewis Cole. All you have to do is listen to that, that pattern. That's groovy. Mmm. What's his symbol like? Oh, my Wi Fi network just shut down. <sighs> Son of a bitch! You gotta keep it grooving at the faster tempos. That's probably the hard part. Beat number four. Here we go. Two minutes and 40 seconds. The cool thing with this groove is that the first snare accent, you have to lift your palm up off the snare to get that, those overtones, instead of this. That's the second snare hit. Then the second one's dampened. It's those little things, those little things that make these beats so sick. How fast does he play? You know, it's swung. So when you play it at a faster tempo like that, for me it's more difficult to keep it grooving. And I don't think it sounds that good at a faster tempo. I think it sounds so groovy, slow, you know? It's like a drum and bass thing. It sounds sick slow like that. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> it's always so hard to find the line. Found it. What a terrible overtone. What is that overtone? That is the ugliest sound in the world. Alright. Fifth and final beat. What? The distance from my hi-hat to my snare makes it so much harder than it has to be. I'm not Travis Barker over here, you know what I mean? Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ah. Okay, I'm done. 11 minutes, you know, I'm not doing this timer to brag and show how quickly I can do it. I just kind of wanted to see.
But the point of these what to practice videos are to hopefully encourage you guys to practice these things as well, you know? There's so much information on the internet, there's so many videos out there, and we watch them. But oftentimes we don't actually sit behind the kits and practice those things that we see. So I'm trying to encourage you guys to practice those things that you watch on the internet, you know, because all those little things that you watch, all those videos, all those things that you copy from people end up blending and that's how you create your own identity behind the kit, I guess. And I'm still trying to find my own and I just want to encourage you guys to do the same. Well, that was freaking dope. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Every time I make one of these what's practice videos, it inspires me to learn something new. That's like why I started playing the drums, you know, was to get better and learn new things. And um, I think that's super important. If you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Check out more of my videos. This is bullshit. I can't do this. I can't do this. Also, check out my website, brandonscottdrums.com. I got some lessons over there. Check it out. We're almost to 80,000 subscribers now, which is freaking sick. I'm thinking about doing that merch. So if that's something that you guys be into, if you like these designs, you think, dang, that's pretty dope, or no, Brandon, no one's gonna buy that. Just stop. You should shut down the YouTube. Then let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Thank you.